Hello, welcome to Scarcity TV. Whatever you do, make it count. This is that guy you know nothing about behind the mic. How are you today? I hope you're doing great. Everything is well on your end. If not, please do take care of yourself and everything will be better. I do promise you. Okay? So, within this YouTube channel, I will be bringing you nothing but the best videos uh, in terms of entertainment, sports, and everything in between, you know. And please do me a favor. Wake up. Pay. Nine points away from the DSTV Premiership yeah, yeah, title, Mama Lodi Sundowns can edge closer to a record 15th top flight success and their fifth in a row if they beat Lamontville Golden Arrows here at Loftus this afternoon. Welcome everyone, live coverage of the DSTV Premiership, Mama Lodi Sundowns are headed off to uh, the African Champions League quarterfinals in Angola at the weekend, so uh, this match scheduled ahead to keep up uh, with their league fixtures. Arrows with uh, Ndlovo on the right-hand side of uh, defence. Serino is going to take a little shot here and it's not going to be far away from goal. Just a little early warning dispatched there by the Uruguayan. Before we even go to the shot, which uh, missed narrowly, but it comes from a high press. If you see the captain gets pressed high, which was a danger that I feared right from the beginning. Familiar position. Yeah, it's a chance for Sundowns and just a simple little tap away. Goalkeeper Gourmede came out, he got it all wrong and the champions are gifted an early goal here. Tucked away by Gaston Serino, 19 minutes for Mamelodi Sundowns to open the lead. Credit goes to Lebusa, who chased what might have been viewed as, as a lost cause. There's raising his hand on the far post. One other thing on the mathematical uh, aspect of the DSTV Premiership at the moment, if Sundowns win this game, Orlando Pirates are mathematically out of the title race. It doesn't matter what they do tonight and for the rest of the league season. They are away in Barocca. That game is live on your World of Champions from Paul Okwani. Saturday, of course, uh, Cape Town City hosting Royal AM. The battle for second, perhaps. Kaiser Chiefs hosting Super Sport United. That's also live on a very busy Saturday. Chipper United on Sunday against Stellenbosch. Goal! Number two, simply done. Who else but Peter Sharulile? 19 goals. 19 league goals, 25 in all competitions. He emulates the achievement of one Colin Zimbasuma. Do you remember him? Kimbazwani onto the edge of the area, gets the ball back again. Square pass, another goal for Sharulile. It's all too easy here. Peter Shalulile, the marksman of all marksmen. <laughs> a marksman in the true sense of the word, like a sniper. Oh, oh, the bouncy celebrations. Come on, give oh, us the old bounce there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like you said, they make it look so easy. One, two touches. Manuleka. Cross and Shalulile. Shalulile hat trick, yes! Shalulile, two successive league games. It's never been done before. He's done it now. Goal number 21 in the league this season. He just keeps on scoring. That was a little bit of a defensive mix up, though, that he profited from. But uh, being a lead, and he always sensed the opportunity that might fall him, hangs around in that area where he could profit from. Yes quality on his part the players are fully aware of what's happening that's why everyone even from the bench they all ran up to him basically because they understand just how important it is for him to be able to cross this line shadow leader is going to be careful not to go offside this might be a chance for uh, the ball to come back into uh, shallow lila zwane safranco snaps up the half chance it's 5-0 it's the biggest winning margin in the DSTV Premiership this season. He's 
making a big yeah. habit of it, uh, Safranco. Coming in even if it's late with a few minutes. He scores and uh, there he is. And uh, another quiz question for you. Who does he like scoring against the most? You'll remember from the beginning of the season in the MTN8. Erasmus now needs a good first touch. Gets a good first touch. Lays it back. Taken away by Miami. Laid back here. Erasmus six. Mamaloni Sundowns just rubbing salt into the wound and Kermit Erasmus puts his name on the score sheet as well. He's enjoying his comeback, listen. He scored in recent time and in fact in the last game and uh, in a number of games in fact just coming into this one. At the beginning of the season Rivaldo Kutsia was picking them up uh, game after game after game. I think he got four in a row. Now, chance for arrows again. The shot to test on Yango. It's the outside of the upright. It'll go away. It's not working out today. Sibia with a crack. Talking a game against the Summerfield Dynamos as well. When they were just thinking that they might bounce back to making a game out of it, they, they got one and hit the course and out. Confirmation then on the scoreline. Six of the best. Peter Shalalile got half of them. Serino, Safranco, and Erasmus with the other three. Mamalodi Sundowns in dominant form. They are unstoppable. Coach Siema, before the match, you spoke about Golden Arrows having to play their own game today because Sundowns will probably have a different team showing up. How was the game today? Biggest loss for Golden Arrows in their history? Yeah, um, I start. I think um, we did not start very bad. I think we started trying to impose, and in those times, we had three goals to score today's game. And uh, if we don't convert the chances that we get in the before they can even score, we had opportunities that we could say we could have taken the points because you know that Sanders will keep on coming. Like I told you that if we do not have mis do not don't make mistakes at all, we'll send a chance because you know they'll keep on coming. And if we do the mistakes that we did today, of course we'll, they will punish us. But yeah, it's one of those games that I think that had we taken our chances in the first half, then we could have I think the result could have been the same. However, the effort the guys they fight, they went. We tried everybody that was available that we could put. We tried to push the guys in and then try to get them to the game. But yeah, with the sundowns, the quality when they brought also the yeah, fresh legs there. But they must go to sundowns. Congratulations to them. But the team, we never stopped playing. We played and yeah, even the last chance that hit the pole there, you can see that today we could play, we are not going to score. So yeah. We'll take a heavy defeat, it's not good, but we'll have to pick ourselves up and there's still uh, six games to play for and uh, the fight is still on to be in the top eight. An absolute show of dominance this afternoon, coach. Three goals in 30, three goals in 30 minutes, six at the end. Your response after today's game? Uh, no, man, I, I would like to give uh, credit to the boys. I think they, they are really showing the hunger, the interest. The intensity of the game is good. The mileage we covered first half was looking very good. Possession was good. Number of passes completed good. Pos all the, the box entries, all the stats proved that they really wanted it more. And uh, no wonder they scored three goals in 30 minutes and we really appreciate that. Speaking of three goals in 30 minutes, a big talking point. Shalulile, a hat trick back to back. It's absolutely amazing this season. I think you, you know when they say when opportunity meets hard work, I think they are referring to a player like Peter because he gives his heart and soul to the team, he gives everything to the club and when a player gives so much, that's why he ends up getting more and the other players are also willing to pass to him because they know he's a very good team player and the comrade and the team spirit amongst the group is very good and we are really, really excited with, uh, with what these boys are offering. And also, Coach, looking at Mamelodi Sundowns, it's fair to say that that quadruple is attainable this season. The quadruple attainable this season? 
No, we, we would never want to go there now. It's, uh, it's, it, it will be naive of us to count our eggs before, our chickens before the eggs are hatched. We have to just keep going and take each game as it comes and give it our best shot because we believe we've got the capacity to do better. But we have to take each game at a time and concentrate on our processes in-house in terms of the number of points we want to collect in the league and still on the matches that we are going to play in the, in the Netbank Cup and the Champions League. From a local cup game into the league, tomorrow you leave for the CAF Champions League, three different competitions. Yeah, it's a little bit strenuous, but uh, in life they say to whom much is given, much is expected. So we have no choice. Each and every game we play is, is as important. And we just hope our players can be able to play, to give their A game in Angola, because it will be very important to come back with a good result away from home. Coach, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you very much.